On this video, we're going to assemble and review these awesome aluminum corrosive free indoor outdoor cabinets. They come with a lock and key. They do come with risers and feet. They are perfect for storing pretty much anything that you desire. And they come in different colors, whether it's two-tone or silver, they come in different lengths and sizes. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, guys, so we are in the midst of creating an outdoor kitchen. Now, with that said, these are actually mechanic shop cabinets. We're going to stack these beside each other, and we're going to see if we can actually create a kitchen out of this. This is a matte finish. This is rust proof, corrosive proof, and they're lightweight. All right, so here are our panels. They did provide you with a screwdriver, your manual. These are additional screws to attach this to a wall. These are your pegs for your shelves. These are your risers, and then these are the assembly screws. And then these are things you're also gonna need to make sure that things are nice and tight. Now, as I said, they're all labeled. There's a lock on one of the cabinets, which is even better because locked outdoor kitchen cabinets are actually hard to find and they're expensive. So you have two keys. So yeah, let's get started. We take our first panel, which is the D, and it may not be labeled, so just try and match the pictures with the real cabinets. That's your D. This is your A, and then this will slide in right here, just like that, to the end. Now we grab our E, and then we're gonna place this right over the top. Next, take your B, and make sure that this edge is towards the bottom because now we're gonna be lining up the screws. And if you look at number three, that slides down. So we're gonna, again, bring this up, and then this is going to go and click at the bottom, and then those screws are gonna line up on their own, like that. So you can see that now the screws are gonna be lining up there and there. We take our C. There's only one way for this to come down. This one's gonna be a little tighter because now you can there you go. Now make sure once these are in, this goes over this and it will lock in place like that. So now these two are gonna be joined together. Next, let's go and add our screws. We are gonna be using our DeWalt drill and we just picked this one up and I am very excited about this as well. This is the 20 volt max. It's not the latest, but it is the greatest in my opinion. What I really like about this is that immediately the light just turns on. So the drill is excellent for again, small and large screws, whether it's assembling cabinets or drilling through thick two by tens, it does an excellent job. Next up, grab our L's, which are the feet, and we're gonna drive four screws on each side, and there are four of them. Next, grab your risers, there are four of them, and all we're gonna do is just screw them here. And then this is to adjust these. If your floor is on level, you can adjust these one by one. Secondly, because this is plastic, this will protect your surface from being scratched. Once your cabinet is upright, grab your eye. This is the lower piece, and we're gonna basically just put it inside here. There's some notches on the back, it only goes in one way. There's a front lip, and that front lip is going to hook right here. You're just gonna have to kind of just adjust it a little bit, and then just make sure that this is over top of these because you want everything to be put, pulled in together. To demonstrate what I'm talking about is if you place this on but you don't get these hooked on, you're not gonna be able to take these down easily. And the reason is because when you place this bottom piece, you can see that it locks in place here. So you're gonna have to take a very fine chisel or a screwdriver. You need to pull this part away while pushing it down at the same time. And it's almost impossible to do without breaking this aluminum piece. So if you do end up accidentally not getting these in, flip it upside down the way I have here. And then you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to force this down gently until these go behind this. And then when that happens, you're pretty much done. Once again, flip your cabinet on its feet. And now we're gonna place H, which is the top of the cabinet. Now make sure that this little plastic piece is in the front. You're gonna notice the back there is gonna hook right there on the corner and over there. So there's only one way for this to close properly. Of course, you will need two hands. That's gonna go here. And then you just gotta make sure that this all is nice and flush. Once the H is done, grab 10 of your screws and then now we're essentially going to go and place them up and secure the top. So now let's get to the doors. There are two pieces for the door, make sure that this little part that's 
beveled is on the top and the plastic coaster is also on the top. It's very hard to take the doors off once you place them, so make sure you do them correctly. At the very bottom here, you're gonna see there's a little hole. So this is where you place this in like that. It just sits in there, but again, it's very difficult to get it out later. So you place this in here, then you grab your door. And again, there's an F and there's a G. F goes on your left side, a G goes on your right side. So this is F. And if we grab the door, you can see at the very bottom that there are holes. And then we place this towards the bottom like so. And you can see that this isn't going in. Well, that's because this was up and down. So you just press this in and there you go. And all of a sudden you have a working door. And the reason this peg is here is to make sure that this stays flat. Now you could go and buy yourself some magnets and stick it right over here and here. So then you could remove this and it would remain, but you know, this kind of works for us. All right, now they did provide us with two keys, as I said, so you just turn the key, take it out, boom, it's locked, and you have two of them. Next up are the shelving clips. So you place the shelving clips on the inner and the outer portion. Very easy to place these in. Place this in, that goes in like that, and then you make sure you put this on the same side, and then you put one on the inner slat, and then boom, you place your shelving. So once your clips are in, I went 10 notches down and then again, 10 notches down. So that way I can put in larger things at the top and small things midway and large things at the bottom. You grab this. Now this is your J and you wanna make sure that this is in the front, not the back when you put it in. So then, but there you go. And then when it's done, it's gonna look like this. So we have two side by side. Does it look good? I think it looks pretty good. Again, depending on the purposes that you are using this, this may or may not work. I definitely like the look. That's the 